Well, my character is a guy named Logan Kale, who, uh, who is not the simplest guy to explain, really. I mean, he, he lives um, this kind of secluded monastic life of, uh, you know, of the underground rebel. I mean, obviously, the show takes place uh, in a, in the in not too distant future, and um, one of the conceits of this future world is that uh, that the media is controlled by um, by the government, and that there is really only one source of news and entertainment and everything else, and that's a result of this um, uh, terrorist activity that that had taken place that knocked out all the satellite communications and computer data was wiped out and. So the government stepped in and, and, uh, and imposed this kind of martial law order over everything. Because there's curfews and, you know, you've got, you're getting your information from one source. There's no way to check that against anything else. There's no, there's no voice of, of, uh, um, of opposition. And so Logan takes it upon himself to, to be that guy and, and has a bulletin called Streaming Freedom Video Bulletin that, uh, Hacks into the nightly news. Well, Max breaks into his apartment uh, because he's um, independently wealthy and has lots of nice little baubles around his place. And she had spotted it during an earlier uh, delivery run. She's a bike messenger, and so she breaks in to steal some stuff. And he's in the middle of doing one of his, you know, rebel cable hacks. And uh, she realizes who he is by virtue of the you know, the whole setup and recognizes the, that he's the eyes only character and he in turn comes to realize that she is this, um, this kind of creature that's been created by the government. I think Max obviously is, is someone that has the same kind of dilemma where she feels like an outsider she feel, and she's running away from being a cause. She's, she just wants to be apathetic and like, it's not my problem. And everything is Logan's problem and nothing is Max's problem. You know, she has all these great skills, but she's just a thief. She uses her, you know, to, to just steal and survive. And I, that's fascinating to me, the combination of these two characters coming together. They, they're so opposite and yet they, they complement each other and suit each other so well. I think Jim Cameron has proven that he's very good at creating imaginary worlds or, or, uh, or real worlds. That, uh, so, uh, you know, the, the task that's been undertaken by everyone here is massive, but that's not unfamiliar terrain to Cameron.